very fortunate to still have Chef Nigel Mentham with us, who is from the Duke's Hotel in London. He's been with us all day long and we cooked already in the kitchen. We did already a fantastic video. And now we're here to talk a little bit more about the future and so on. Chef Nigel, welcome and thank you for coming to HGMI. No problem, thanks. It's been a great experience. Now, let me ask you, you in your previous history, you achieved the Michelin star. What was it like? How was it difficult to achieve? And what was involved on, from your side to do? Yeah, I had uh, I achieved Michelin star in 2010 in my previous job. Um, I was there for four years before I achieved the Michelin star. So it's lots of hard work, dedication, consistent standards. And finally it dropped in and it was like a big surprise. So I'm waiting for four years. Of course. I didn't get the Michelin star, yeah. You can't imagine. Just, yeah. And I held it there for two years. Two years? Yeah. So, because it's running every year, they will check and then award you the Michelin star again? Or is that just you get it and it continues? Yeah, I got it in 2010. I kept it in 2011. Then I moved down to Dukes in June 2011. Mm -hmm. So obviously the Michelin star stayed at that property. And now it's, again, working towards the standards, the good food, the quality. Consistency, consistency very important. We'll see where it takes us again. Yeah. And how's it from your customers? I mean, I'm sure their expectations are quite high when they hear that this restaurant has a Michelin star. So it must be also difficult to maintain this consistency and this standard. Yeah, up in the lakes um, where I had the star, it was, um, it was good food, obviously, to get the Michelin star. And, you know, the, obviously the, um, the client's expectations is high because of the standards that people mm -hmm. expect from Michelin stars. Um, but yeah, now I come down to Dukes, again, put the concept into place, good quality food, good customer feedback, nice covers in the restaurant, consistent, so we see where it takes us. Hmm. So it brings a lot of customer, it brings revenue to your property if you do have the Michelin star. Yeah, I think it gets more awareness and you know, people see, you know, hmm. people who are foodies want to go to nice places to eat, so they, uh, they look for these sort of properties. And uh, now you're at Dukes in London, which is in the center of London, really, yeah, I believe. In the heart of uh, Mayfair, yeah. St. James. So yeah. Yes. St. So James Park, near that area, yeah, on, the, I think. on the back of Green Park. St. James Green. is maybe five minutes walk away, but it's okay. on the back of Green so Park. So really central London. Buckingham Palace. So it's a big difference between the place you went before, which is a little bit outside London, I believe. It's yeah, Cumbria. Yeah, it's like four hours away, so, yeah. so it's like a bit chalk and cheese. Okay. Like <laughs> hills, lakes. You know, nice scenery. Yeah. Come down to London, and, you know, city centre, yeah. bustling. And really working in London is different also. I mean, availability of ingredients, it's more. Yeah, you, or you see, that's one of the things that I noticed when I came to London was you know, the availability. You know, I get two drops a day of anything I need, really. Mm -hmm. In you know, other jobs, when I've worked in country houses around England, it's always been one delivery. If you haven't got it, you haven't got it. But in yeah. London, you know, New Covent Garden for vegetables and oh, everything very nice. you need. I remember, yes. Yeah, it's, it's yeah, more choices, fish. more availability, more suppliers. Yeah, the, the choice is immense. Yeah, yeah. yeah, it's really good. Good. And also, also, is part of your plan to work to again achieve another Michelin star restaurant future? Yeah, of course. It's mm. you know, it's always a goal to have. Mm. But yeah, so again, we just put consistency in, good food, nice flavors. And, you know, so basically, it's where. only you trying your best consistency, food, high standards, high quality. Yeah, of course. And then cross your fingers and hope that the Michelin inspectors come by yeah, um, and award you. See what happens. Yeah. Yes. Oh, okay. Good. So, how do you see the f future of culinary? I mean, Michelin star becoming more and more restaurants, but also other direction coming molecular gastronomy. So, how do you feel about? this kind of direction? Will that be part of the mainstream kitchen or will that be just a fashion, a short phase mode? Yeah, I think, um, you know, especially in London, you see trends changing all the time. Six to nine months, you'll see new things come in, you know, constant cuisine changes, new things, South American, you know, there's, there's all sorts of things coming mm. in all the time. So to follow trends is quite difficult. But, you know, if what I do is, you know, look at my food, look at my ingredients, make sure they're all good hmm. and then you know keep to what I do and but you know change my style of plating to make it more rustic and that sort of thing but the the core is good taste know, good it, food exactly yeah. yes I mean I feel the same it's that's in the end what 
the customer wants. Good food, nice presentation, high quality, healthy, and enjoyment yeah. about the food. Exactly, if people have a nice meal, and obviously they're going to hopefully come back. Mm. So that's the plan. How do you like Switzerland? I mean, you spend a day with our students in the school, so you see in them a little bit, you see in a little bit Switzerland. Today we're lucky, we have sunshine. <laughs> it's awesome Although, today, yeah. Yes. <laughs> so, any interest to come back for another visit, day visit or so? Maybe a bit longer than a day visit next time. Okay, oh, that's very good, very <laughs> good, we like. Something. No, it's, it's the first time I've been to Switzerland, so it's, you know, every country you go to for the first time is always like, Yes, yeah. and wow, we have also very good yeah. in ingredients here. Yeah. Fantastic cheeses. Every village has their own local artisan handmade cheeses and so. So I'm sure there will be some interesting items for you here as well. Yeah, definitely. So how was your experience today? You worked with our students a little bit together. We did in the morning. We did some fantastic duck. Uh, in the afternoon, we did uh, the lemon meringue pie. So how do you think or feel a little bit about our students? I mean, you've seen them. You get for a few hours a little bit in touch with them. So do you see a future with them? Maybe not yourself, but for them in, in, in the hospitality industry. And how do you feel about yeah, hotel sure. I mean, schools? The first thing this morning, I mean, we came in, the students were already here. Then we had a little chat, went through what we were going to do. You know, they all seemed really confident and that sort of thing. Not like, oh my God, sort of hmm. rabbits in headlights. So you know, it was nice to go to the fridge, you know, pick out a few ingredients with them, ask them, you know, will this go with this? Will this go with this? To get them involved a little bit instead of just putting them to the side, really. Hmm. So that, that was good to start off with. And then the tasks I gave them during the cooking this morning, they all took on board Performed, what I said yeah. to them and things and like willing to learn basically, which is the main thing, I think. If That's willing to for learn. us. I mean, yeah. we're selecting our students also to perform, to learn and then to grow yeah. because it's important for us. And of course, it's important for our students so that they continue in the industry, become industry leaders one day, captains, and then change and adapt and bring new items to the kitchens, to the service and so on. Yeah, I think it's also good to like, you know, come to places like this and, you know, look after the kids and give them a bit of insight to what happens in the industry hmm. and, you know, to prepare them for it. And then, you know, one day you get a little star out there hmm. and some two or three of them come along. That's the thing for us to prepare them, to get them ready so that they can start and then within the industry grow and become the leaders one of the future, for instance. Well, thank you, Chef Nigel. Thank you for, for coming. And it was a very great pleasure to have you here. Thank you. And really looking forward to see you again one day. Definitely. Thank you. Thank you very much.